The next jQuery UI effect that we're going to look at is in the visibility section in its show. This effect is the equivalent of the CSS style display colon block. This is also included in the default jQuery library, but here in jQuery UI it is extended with additional options and animations. This is an example of show. Let's go to Visual Studio and see how this is done. In Visual Studio, let's go ahead and copy our previous section that we made. And then we'll clear out the HTML along with JavaScript. And last but not least, the style. Okay. Let's update the text of this to say show. Now let's um, do some code. All right, let's start off by creating a div class equals wrapper. Then we'll create another div inside of that. Give it the ID of show div. Give it a class. Take UI widget dash content UI dash corner dash all. And within that, make an H3 header class equal to UI widget header and also UI corner all call it effect next paragraph tag we could do fill and then an order list margin left URL. One list object, just say show. Okay, there's our HTML so far. Let's go down to here and we'll add a break and do a clear all. And then we'll go add a button so we can uh, run our effect. basically what the button will be called to. And let's go up to our style block first and say show div. We just go give it some properties. 300 picks, height, 25 picks, display, none. So by default when the page loads our div will not be shown. It will be hidden. So within the document.ready, we go do function run effect show. And within that, we go say our sign show div dot show callback show. Which is going to be a callback that we're going to create here. And just a little note for later, just in case you're trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, so function callback show. Set timeout function. Show div a hide dot fade out. Oops, there needs to be a dollar sign there. Set 
there. And we'll set the delay on that to 5,000. Okay, that closes our timeout function. That closes our main function, so we're good there. Next, we go do button show. So click custom function. Run effect show. Mm -hmm. And then because it's a button, we're not doing anything else, so we want to return false there. Okay. So we should be good now. And let's go to our browser window and check it out. Go ahead and refresh. Here's our show by default. The div did not show up, so let's run the effect. And here it is. It showed up now. And after a few seconds, it goes away. That is the timeout that we have that tells it to go away. If we did not have that timeout that is encased in that callback function, it would just stay up. So that is the show effect of jQuery UI.